Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. My, is, my name is Mihir and today I will be going over who we are, an introduction to Winter ISIL, and finally setting up the accounts the students will be using. If you need to, feel free to hit the pod button at any time. We will also be hosting a live question and answer session on December 18th. Make sure you check your email for that. So let's start off with a little bit about us. We are part of the high school robotics team from Interlake here in Bellevue, Washington. And we go by Interlake Saints Robotics. We are part of a competition league called First Robotics Competition, part of the overall First, uh, first uh, Robotics uh, system. So each year, we and a bunch of other teams from all over the globe build industrial-sized robots and then go and compete in the spring. There are about 30 to 40 of us on Saints Robotics, and each year, we pride ourselves on being a student-led team while also having a gracious amount of support for our, from our parents and mentors. Since our team is pretty big, we divide ourselves into various sub-teams, such as business development, imagery, mechanical, control systems, and programs. Most of my work has been in programming the robot, but what's really great about our team in FRC is that we don't just do math, science, and engineering. There are a lot of people from our team who organize outreaches such as this one, set up fundraisers, and do graphic design. For example, this camp had a lot of work that went into it, and, it's, and almost none of it was math, science, or engineering. It was building these soft skills and figuring out how to communicate information effectively with students during this pandemic. So all of us are learning some new things this year. Speaking of learning, our camp Winter Soul, what we've taken to call it, is an acronym for Winter Saint Online Learning Experience. After the resounding success of our summer camp, we decided to host an expanded and modified version in the winter. We will mainly be teaching students how to program using Scratch, which is a block programming software where students can be used to code products such as Minecraft. We developed two courses this winter, one for an introduction to Scratch and another for advanced Scratch and an introduction to engineering. Each of these courses is available in two separate times, one in the morning and the evening session. Make sure you check your confirmation to email to see which session and which course your student has signed up for. We will be going over the details of this course of these two courses in the next few slides. We will be here to answer any of your questions and you can reach us through Google Classroom or through email. We will be setting up Google Classroom in a minute. So to start off, the Introduction to Scratch class will be following a six day curriculum. On the first day, we will be going over an introduction to the camp. The next day, we will be going over motion blocks, and the day after that will be looks blocks. During the second week, we will be going over operator and control blocks on day four, sensing and event blocks on day five, and on the last day, we're going to have some extensions and have a closing day where students will be able to share some final projects. If the students finish the content early, they will start on the next day's content, and we will have some additional lessons for them at the end. The Advanced Scratch and Beginning Engineering Concepts course is split into two sections, Advanced Scratch and Game Design, and the Fundamentals of Engineering. The first week will be spent on Advanced Scratch and Game Design, where students will learn about the fundamentals of games and how to use Scratch to create a simple game of their very own with guided and collaborative work times, which allows them to interact with their peers while learning as an individual. The second week will be centered around engineering and will involve several hands-on projects where the students will learn and utilize basic engineering concepts. So for aspect students, advanced scratch and beginning engineering concept students, you should uh, be getting an email in the next few days about a list of materials for the assembled kit. Such materials will include wooden craft sticks, milkshake straws, bamboo skewers, pipe cleaners, disposable crystalware, pencils, paper towel rolls, masking tape, rubber bands, paper clips, and a CDR. If you are not able to pick a clip, uh, pick up a kit due to uh, any reason, feel free to send us an email. And here's a list of contents that you will need that are included in the kit. 
So, if you have any questions, feel free to email us if you have any questions or attend the live session as well. We will now be going over how to set up the accounts that students will need to access the classroom and to use the Scratch. All of this information will be sent to you in an orientation email. So for the online soul, we will be using Google Classroom to send out class presentations, materials, and also to broadcast the meeting link. We'll go over how to sign up and navigate through the classroom. So to join the Google Classroom for ISOL, go to classroom.google.com and sign in. If you don't already have a Google account, making one is easy. After you sign in, you'll have to enter the specific class that your student will be in. You can either use the class code that your teacher will provide in the introduction email being sent out, or you should have received an email from us that's asking you to join the classroom. Either of these ways will add you into the classroom. So now I'm going to be over going over how to add you to the Scratch classroom. This is where your students will write and share code. So first, go to scratch.mit.edu. Since <clears throat> the link is stated on this slide. Since the students are part of the Scratch classroom, they will have to sign in with a new account, even if they created a personal one already. We've already created accounts for all the students, so all they have to do is sign in. Their standard username should be their favorite food, animal, and favorite number, although some of these have been altered due to their username already existing. And all of this is lowercase. You should have received an email from your teacher containing your child's username, and the default password saying to bar school. Once you're signed in, your classroom should look like this. With your, you make sure that the username is correct on the top right-hand corner. Uh, okay. 